Hello Internet Dwellers and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate movie sets and locations from, well, famous movies, I guess, in Minecraft, and then in the future, film and cinema. I'm your host, Jeff Bell. Well, your host? Uh, that's weird sounding. I'm not your host. I'm here. Anyways, welcome back to this series. Um, this is part two of the series where we are currently building the clock tower from Back to the Future. Um, so in the end of the last episode, uh, had a, I had a little problem where I could not build any higher than this row right here. It was kind of coincidental that it actually pretty much ended right here. Um, that problem has been fixed. Um, as you'll notice, all those trees that I was <laughs> questioning about are gone. It's actually because when I created the flat world, I... I was thinking like, oh, well, maybe I'll need to put a basement in for something. So I created the flat world with a 75 block or 100, I don't know, something like that, like 125 block uh, thickness to it. So we were actually, after having built this many br uh, bricks up, this actually was the top of the map. I could not build any higher. So that has been taken care of. Um, I did use the magic wand tool to save the model that we had been building in the previous episode out as a schematic and then reloaded it back into a brand new flat world because frankly i was a little bit too lazy and did not want to have to rebuild this <laughs> so yes so here we are we are back to where we're going um, i have disabled the magic wand as you can see they are still floating here i don't think yep those don't do squat so that's good um we're just going to go way over here and just blah, and then blah, there we go. I don't need those things anymore. Um, I have disabled the magic wand tool because I don't, again, I don't for the most part want to be using it for this build. I want to keep it as just actually building it from scratch by hand. So having said all of that, let us get back to our building. Um, I am actually recording this uh, episode a couple days after the last episode, so I don't... Oops, sorry guys, hold on, I have to get my floor plans. There we go. Um, I don't actually know if there was any critiques in the first episode, and I apologize, but these first couple we're going to record all together, and then any notes or any critiques we will take at a later date, and we will take them into account. Okay, having said all that fun jazz, let us get back to what we were doing. We're just going to continue building up this uh, top part of the we're, we're gonna we're gonna deal with the overhang and the pillars afterwards but we're gonna get the core portion of the building built first and then we will uh we'll move from there so okay 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 so what do we have over here we had we had those guys there i actually wonder if this shouldn't be one more row over like i'm wondering if it shouldn't be here instead because now that i'm looking at my floor plans i kind of think that this would be a better idea so let's do that first we're gonna go all the way up uh, i was listening to the last episode actually and i realized i'm like wow you can just hear all of my keyboard clicks and all my mouse clicks and yeah sorry about that uh hopefully the settings this time around are a little bit better um just because I, i've jacked some of the settings down quality just sound wise i just i want to make sure you guys could hear me but at the same time i don't want you to be annoyed by the clicks in my mouse it might be there it may not be there i'm not really sure so anyways let's build this like this because then that way that gives us just a little bit more of a gap uh that looks closer to what the floor plans are showing anyways uh just to because we're gonna have to have it we're gonna have to have a pillar obviously there's gonna be a pillar I haven't decided yet if we're going to do make these pillars uh, two block or like two by two, or if we're going to make them one high. I think because of the dimensions that we're going with on this, it might actually be two by two. And I'll show you here what I'm talking about. Uh, we need the other quartz. Nope. Wow. Yeah, I cannot spell. There we go. I need this because I think what we're going to ultimately end up doing. And here we'll just we'll do a sample here. So if we do that. And then we just go up like this for all of these. Oops. Obviously, it's not going to be here. This is just a sample. Uh, just like that. So I think I think that'll be our pillar. I kind of like the two. Because otherwise, it would end up being just like this. And for some reason... <laughs> fly, Jeff. Um, just for some reason, I don't... I don't know, maybe maybe the one is better. I guess we'll have to wait and see it in context just to know what it looks like. I'll leave those guys there for now. Ah, no, I'm not. These are horrible and they're in the way. Get away! Ooh, how did I destroy that one random block in the middle? I am just 
more powerful, I guess. Okay, so we have we have the three here in the end, so we'll do that, and then we'll do what is this? Is this three in the middle? We'll do three in the middle between each of these blocks. These guys look like they're pretty much even across the board. So that is our wall dividing. I'll do this first row here for, and then okay. So now did not want to destroy that. Let's just go all the way out here for a little bit. So door door. Shoot, how am I going to do the door? The doors are actually wider than the windows are. The windows are two, so the doors are going to be four. Maybe we'll, put the, maybe we'll put a row of glass and two doors and a row of glass. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Um, so that's our door. So from what I was describing, these are going to end up having to be... Oh, hey, keyboard. Oh, hey, keyboard. No, keyboard. What are you doing? Type. Why can't you... That's weird. The <laughs> so my A apparently does not work. That's okay. So, anyways, um, <laughs> can I type block? I can type block blocks. Oh, or my C's don't work. A B. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. That's that's gonna make this series really excellent. I'll have to figure out what's going on with that and bad one. Okay. Anyways, uh, so if we just do these, this is what I wanted to get. And we do on both sides like that. And then, um, oh, my texture pack does not apparently have the doors textured. That's funky. Oh, okay, guys. Uh, that was really weird. I do not know what was going on. I ended up having to, I don't know, exit out a couple times, and then I got everything working again. So anyways, let us continue to what we were doing. So we build the doors like that. And now, according to the structure here, it actually looks like... Um, see, this is not going to be exact because we need to get a pillar, and this is where the one pillar actually comes in handy because of the way that we have structured this. Um, I don't know where to come back. We're going to have to come back to the doors because I don't know exactly how we're going to achieve this look without it looking funky unless we just, we do this because it's, it's a, Yeah, because see, the problem is, is that that, and then, unless, can we, no, because that's going to be structured in a way where it's, oops, nope, it's not going to look right, is it? Yeah, because you're always going to have that gap, and I don't like that. So, we do it like this, and then we just kind of put that straight across there, and maybe we'll figure out another system for that. Um, this actually does have, however, so we did, oh, 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 we did this way. Uh, no, not that. The stairs. There we go. This one going across. Because we need it to look similar to those. Because this front structure is a little bit, or for the door actually, is for a little. It's a little bit different. Don't know why I destroy those because I need those to build you up like that. And then uh, for this, we'll actually build on the back side. Something like that, so that can fill in behind that, and then uh, oh, you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll do these, just like that. There we go. Yeah, I know it looks a little goofy, but I'm trying to kind of mimic what's on the actual door um, for the floor plans. And this one does come all the way up to just about there. So now this would come all the way out um, to here. The window's gonna end up being there. Um, yeah, window's going to be like that. This is going to be the two-sided window again. So, okay, we can build you up all the way. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with the computer there. That was a little goofy. Never actually had that happen. It, it looked like every time I was hitting the A, it was actually just giving me a, like, select all command, which I don't know why it's doing that, but it was doing that. So, um, so here we go. So two up here, and then I'm going to go one across there. Okay, so let's plop in our glass, just like this. I also realized I make a lot of weird noises when I talk to myself, so enjoy that. <laughs> uh, so, okay, so there we go. So that's kind of our front door, and again, I might come back through and tweak this uh, design a little bit so that way it doesn't stick out completely horrible like that, but 
or not stick out, but just kind of look odd. But that is pretty much the way that the uh, floor plans have it. This uh, The floor plans have it be that there's a set of doors here. Now the doors go up a little higher, but um, there's a little bit of a gap in between here. And then we have our little stone arch that does actually meet up to this window. So that is our design. So there's actually, see, no, there's actually four in the middle there there's only three there oh this actually might be okay okay so now down here there is what we have a three block gap we have a three block gap so let's just bring this out a little bit more it's not going to need all that so then we have one two and then three and then we're going to do one two for the window one two oh, wow like i meant to do it so that is <laughs> that is wrong no that's right that's three one two and three yeah and two and then that excellent so then there's that. So what we're going to do is, where did that come across? That came across there. So we're just going to go up here like this. Nope. This one right here. There you go. So like this. And then one more higher like that. Excellent. Okay. So that's where the top of the window goes. We will just fill this in. I did, um when I got the uh, the magic wand, the single player command or the, the world edit tool uh, going on this, I did contemplate... Uh, leaving it on and actually just using it to kind of save us some time on this and I'm still up in the air as to whether or not I want to continue to use that tool or not because it's just like there's a part of me that kind of likes the idea of just building this all by hand I got really really efficient at it and really I don't want to say lazy because that's the wrong term um I just I started relying way too heavily on the magic wand tool and I feel like I kind of lost a lot of my uh, design uh ness because <laughs> that's a word uh, um I'm a, I'm a college student uh former college student but uh it's I, I felt like i just relied way too heavily on it and i feel like i lost the craft part of minecraft and uh that's not entirely what i wanted to do so i decided it's best just to leave it off for now and maybe like i said as we go uh i might reintroduce using it again but we'll wait and see so okay so there's that and then this comes here and then we just fill in you and you right yes and then we get our windows here so we're almost done with this front part nope not that okay and then, do, 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 do. yeah so i noticed that uh when i actually originally created the uh, world uh it spawned a whole bunch of slime because we're so low on the map because they always spawn so close to the ground um because like i said now this map is yep that's the end of the world so let me just fill this back nope let me just fill this back in oh can i not grab you whoa eh, eh, there we go You're good. um so i had to disable the spa uh, the, the 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 slime mob so but there is still some creatures running around not creatures just animals uh but they won't get in our way so okay so now there is the front of our structure now this is going to end up coming out with wherever we end up building the pillar let us fill in you oh, okay let's just oh my goodness i oh no oh yeah, it does work look at that <laughs> i could not remember what the command was for that um okay so real quick do we have three we have one two three three is the end and then the f the next block starts on the fourth one correct correct okay so we're gonna come out here to we only did two didn't we do 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 like that okay so let's figure out how to do this yeah, do, do, do. Click, click, click 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 yeah that's really annoying isn't it or watch i'm making fun of it and saying how annoying it is but you can't actually hear it this time <laughs> i should just turn my mic move my microphone a little away but we'll do that next time okay so there's our little out and then we are going to at least bring it out to here like this this is where the magic wand tool comes in handy uh, but oh well so yes so this structure is going to be this is going to be kind of fun um there's not going to be an inside because like i said i really think like at least the first machinima is going to be the scene when marty shows up in 1955 uh which so he never goes inside where we get a nice shot of the clock tower working and then he's in the middle here and he goes over to lose which will be over there and 
and all sorts of that stuff. So I think that'll be kind of a fun opening, I, easy enough that we don't have to worry about doing the uh, the inside of the structure. The only time you actually move piggy, move piggy, move piggy, move piggy, move piggy, move piggy. Um, the only time you actually see the inside of the structure is briefly at the end of part, <laughs> I hope I said part five, a uh, part one pig. Seriously, there's nowhere to go inside there. All right, you're just going to get blocked in. Um, you only see it briefly at the end of part two when Doc is running upstairs to reattach the wire before Marty took off again. Uh, he's used this brief shot of the staircase, and that's the extent of that you see him. So uh, the inside. So we're not going to bother building the inside. And if we really need that shot, then I will build just that little winding staircase up there. But for now, we should be okay. Okay, so... All right, let's let's quickly build this side then. So it just came out. So it's it's what four, right? It's four, three, four. Okay. So, so we got eleven. So that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You need to listen to me count. This is just gonna show how smart I am. Um, so that's one, two, three, four. We're gonna do that. One, two, one, two, three, one, two. I can't add. <laughs> that's my problem. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, that's great. Okay, so no, there we go. So then there's our two. Eh, there. And then I believe this should be four again, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's. Oh, and I also don't need to do that. All right, so we have what? One, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, see, when I added, I forgot to add in the two windows because I'm a ding, 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 ding. I'm a dumbo. All right, so here we go. There's the windows, and there's the windows that go up this high. Okay. So, uh, yeah, no, the nice thing is the back side of the structure and this far side, again, looking kind of at the blueprints here, uh, the sides of them kind of look like the side that we started doing on the other side of the building right before the end of the episode, the one that's over there, where it's just kind of a simple, straightforward uh, concept in design. So it's not going to be too complicated. It's going to be just basically a lot of brick walls. And there's a probably, I'm probably just going to end up doing that off camera because that would just be stupid boring to watch uh as if this isn't right now um but uh i'll do that off camera so that way by the next episode because my guess is by the time i end this we'll have this front corner done and that side done and maybe we'll have the front pillars done in this episode and then we'll move on uh from there to starting to actually lay out the rows and all the surrounding areas so uh we will get there next but yeah i'll do that off camera because that's just it's all that tedious stuff. Like, I want to try to do as much of this on camera as humanly possible. But again, I do understand there is kind of a point where it's just like, ugh, I don't want to, I don't want to watch this guy just keep clicking bricks and more bricks. You want to, you want to get to the whole meat and potatoes. And I completely missed a row. There we go. Plus stuff like this happens, which is just kind of annoying. So, all right. And so there's the top. We're going to do those. That's the, we're, we're two down, right? Yeah, we are two down the entire way because that's all the way across. So there we go. Wow, this side went a hell of a lot faster. That's what happens when you actually <laughs> you know what you're building. So we'll do that, and then we'll do that. Nope, there we go. Okay. Um, and also, yeah, the other thing that I was trying to think of, uh, besides Lou's Diner, most of this is going to actually just be facades. Uh, I'm, I'm really only caring about what the camera will see. I'm going to, I want to build the entire structure. Like, I'm not going to go full backlot on this, where it's, you know, half of it's, or it's just like a front. I, I don't want to do that. I actually do want to build an entire structure, roof and all, and then put as much detail as possible into it, because... Uh, as I was saying before, like I, I, I love the idea that the whole point of this is supposed to be so we can recreate certain scenes from movies, but at the end of the day, I do want a fully developed town. Like when this entire, entire series is over with, I want a fully developed movie town with like uh, the Bates Motel in one spot and we want to do like an ocean so we can do Jaws and we want to do like, you know, so that'd be like a beachfront property. We'll do like maybe bigger buildings if we want to do stuff like, I just, I don't know, like King Kong. I mean, granted, I mean, we can't have a giant ape in minecraft but uh well maybe we can uh no uh so it's we we do want a fully developed city so that eventually we could 
in theory, drive anywhere we want in the city or fly anywhere you want in the city and not have to worry about, uh, you know, showing the back part of like an unfinished building. So that's kind of the goal. All right. Were these windows four tall? No, I forgot that layer. I was like, that'll remember them being four. So we're just going to do you and you. There we go. Not you. Across. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. There we go. That side went a lot faster. And we'll put the crown molding on in a split second. Just going to close up these gaps. There we go. Excellent. All right. This is coming together nicely. Um, all right. So how do we... So that's just... And that's just a normal standalone slab, right? Yep. Okay. So... Helps if you have the right brick in hand. There we go. Just like this. Just like that. Oops, and I did not grab that brick. Yoink. So, and I realize this top one is actually supposed to be the white. So I will do that momentarily. There we go. And then I'll just get rid of you. And then hit, and then just build you all in. There we go. Okay. Stop raining. I know I can disable the rain. I'll do that hopefully before the next episode um and here we'll just oh, i did not want to delete you we'll cap you off no you're not going to see it i'll cap you off so okay so then that wraps around like that all right so there is let's come back here a bit so there is that's not that bad looking all right let's do these real quick Underneath here. Start working too fast and I start misclicking. And do you for the little decorative molding here. Just like that. And like that. And we'll do on this side too. Just like that. Okay, so there is. Alright, so there is our clock tower. Looking good. Uh, I don't remember there ever being a pig in this movie. But, uh, yeah, all right, so uh, <laughs> the pig will just be wandering around. Okay, so now I'm looking at my floor plans here. It looks like, it's okay, let's just start building the, uh, yeah, we'll start building the pillars here. Um, so it's actually in the middle. So, yeah, you know what? I think I think my original plan of, so how many, how far back are we? I think of doing two is still a good idea, so... That too. Now, the only problem is that I wanted it to be one more out from there, didn't I? So we might actually have to push this staircase. Oh, no. No, no. You know what? That actually... Yeah, we might have to push the staircase out one more row. Um, so, okay. So if we do two, and that is, what, here? Just like that. So that is where... Yeah, we're going to... Okay, we're going to come out one more with this because I don't like it being that. Plus, this also makes it push the staircase out a little bit further, which is okay with me. Like that. And then we'll just go all the way across like this. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah, and that's actually still a okay distance out. Okay, so that's that one. Now, these... So we have one gap, and then we have the two in the window. So, so that's our window, our gap. Boom, boom. Should I do that? Yeah, because then that'll be in the middle. And then, oh, but see, the thing is, it looks like, hmm. How are we going to do this? It, it actually almost looks like this pillar. Yeah, because this has to be the edge. Because see, like, how oh, I got it, this coming out, like, here, like this. It almost feels like the pillar itself needs to be here instead because then there's uh like a decorative piece that comes out uh where's my slab let's get the quartz slab here there is a decorative piece that comes out Doop. and we do that and maybe come out maybe come out like that yeah 
And then the pillar is going to ultimately be here. Um, which I'm actually going to... What else do we have for quartz? Wasn't there uh yeah, the chiseled block of quartz. Let's use that. I'm trying to just give this base something else so it's not just... Yeah, that might work, that may not. Um, in, in, the, in the actual floor plans, it is it has a slight bevel at the base of there, but we could do the bevel. Um, but the bevel... Actually, we can't do the bevel because I need it to be in the middle. This would have to be this would have to be a 3x3 three three square that would then have... Oops, sorry. That would then have like this going all the way around it. And then in the middle would basically be that, which then the structure becomes just, it's huge, it's way too big, it's way out, it's actually out of scale at that point. So I think we are going to just do our best with this and just have this be the uh, substitute of the actual uh, kind of chiseled bottom or angled in bottom. So that is where the pillars are gonna go. Yeah, they're gonna be kind of big pillars, but whatever's um so then these are actually going to go all the way okay 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 so what you are going to turn here and we'll go to here is my guess let's see how let's see how well i can guess that out oops go down do, 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 do. we're just going to go all the way up Second there, I thought I hit the limit again. I'm like, no, what? No, come on! I tested this. Um, yeah, that was just my own stupidity. Oh, I need to go one more. Ah, so close, so close. Uh, so we need to have you come here because this design wraps around the outside of the pillar like that. See, and this is what I wanted. I wanted to make sure there was this gap because, again, looking at the floor plans, there is a gap. The pillar does not butt up straight against the. Uh, the outside of that building so that will give us our nice gap nice section that's not bad that is not bad at all I'm this looks a hell of a lot better than the first time around uh, first time around like I said was with the first time around was good it wasn't bad it just wasn't what it, it wasn't up to my own design snuff uh, snuff that doesn't sound right it wasn't up to my own design standards that is the word I was actually looking for so uh, here let me take a look at something Hold on a second, kiddos. Okay. Okay. So, uh, sorry, I just had to check to see how much time we were talking about. We got about 10 minutes or so until we got to wrap up this episode. And then we will be uh, continuing on next time with more of this. So I can actually, what I'll do is I'll finish, I'll make it stop raining first, and then I'll, uh, we'll finish up this portion. Did I put that in the wrong spot? Yes, I did. It's got to be one more gap there. Um, so I do know this. Yeah, I'm an idiot. This does break. I was trying to make this be even on both sides, but that if I do that, then this will just be. I don't. I don't like this being right on the edge of that. I'd rather have it be kind of overhanging it. Because the other thing is that I realized with a lot of these designing is that you don't actually want to just put things perfectly flush with each other and perfectly square. It goes back to like why are we doing this and not just putting, you know, a white brick there uh, or why we're trying to put like the baseboard down there. Baseboard? We'll call it baseboard. That's not the term for the outside of a building. Uh, but the uh, why you do that and you don't want to just put the brick on brick because if you can break up the textures so that way the textures aren't butting up against one another, it actually looks more interesting. It looks a little more realistic if you will. Uh, I'm also just finish this side up here. So we try to break them up as much as possible in your design. So that way it just, it, 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 it gives your, it gives your structure depth. It gives your, you know, there's more detail to it because it's obviously, it's not just butt up against there. It's not just a perfect row. There's overlaps, all sorts of fun stuff like that. So, okay. So we got two more of these. We'll, we'll hurry up and do these really quick. If I can keep the block in place, there we go. go and one more there we go and back up. Yeah, again this is exactly where that tool will come in handy and I might have to just make an exception and use that the next time around so oh, come on there we go 
on, on, on buildings, on builds like this, where it's really, and, and the truth is once we actually get out here to the city, uh, the streets, the streets could probably use it and maybe I'll do some of the street work off camera, but, um, for the individual buildings, the buildings themselves are so different and they're so tiny that the, like the magic wand tool wouldn't really come in handy. You'd end up having to build them all individually anyways. Structures like this, the big, huge building structures where it's kind of the same stuff over and over and over again, it, it could come in handy to actually have that tool. But So, okay, let's see what we got here. We've got, okay, so I wonder if we shouldn't. Uh, no, because you know what? That's okay. What I am going to do, however is just uh, interior detail. I'm gonna do that. Just so when you're inside here, it actually has something of a, like a, like a, like a cap, like a top cap there. So I don't care if these are not facing the correct direction, even though apparently, <laughs> uh, speaking of the devil, I got wrong. Well, there we go. We'll just do this like so wrap you all the way around and this again this just prevents it from having just butting up against the brick roof that's going to be in here because this is not a hollowed out roof this is a solid it'll be a solid structure up there because that's where the uh the inner workings uh, working mechanisms of the clock are and again i want to be able to sit here and look up at dock and have that little bit of detail up there so okay so that that's almost we're almost there we're almost there with the front of this let's uh Let's finish you up back here. And yeah, they come right down to the stairs like that. So, oops, I'm just gonna fill you in. What did I do? We did this, you like that. And we did another row out like that. Excellent. So there we go. So there is everything except for the actual clock of the clock tower. Let's take care of that. Now the inside of this, I believe we're going to do, I think I'm gonna do white. I don't think I'm actually gonna do brick on the inside because normally they would not have laid brick coming out. Uh, this part of the floor plans, I am literally just making up as we go because I do not have a, I probably could grab a screenshot from the movie, but this is this is just gonna be my own little, uh, our own little touch on the movie here or on the set. Uh, which we will do from time to time. I'm going to try to make these things as accurate as humanly possible in Minecraft and to scale, but if there's little things that is like, ah, well, I think this works better, or the movie actually contradicts it, or I know in my head that we're going to need it to do this, I'm going to go that route. There we go. So it's all white inside because they normally would have done, like, plaster in here. They would not have done uh, brick if, if this was an actual, like, real-life uh, uh, structure. So, oh, I'm stuck. So there we go. There we go. So that's the start of that. Let's get you coming across here. We're actually going to fill in. Um, yes, because there is going to be a row of white coming here before we start the brick pattern. Because this this middle part is going to be brick, and then we're going to have our roof going up over top of it. Which that roof that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be fun. I don't know how we're going to do the roof yet. So there is. Oops. And this is this is uh, pre dock destroying the ledge here, so otherwise these two would be missing, and they'd be like that. And again, yes, I'm well aware. Actually, whoops, I don't know why I did that. Um, oh, I just that's right. Those are stairs. Oh no! Oh no! No no! There we go. There we go. Um, technically, technically, this should probably be like up here. Because it is it it is a larger structure. I wonder if we should do that anyways. Um, let's, just, let's just see how this looks real quick. I know it, we probably could get away with it being that tiny of a detail or that tiny of a uh, yeah, detail. That's the correct term. Uh, but I think, I think I want this. Or we do a stair because that would actually give it a little bit more detail. Do we do a stair? Upside down stair. Again, this is this is a change from where we were at the for the last episode. Um, that might actually be more interesting because then there's a touch more detail there. It's not just these. It's not just a, a half slab against that because we actually have like a nice little huh, upside down stair type look. Yes, I know. I know. Okay, I do know it looks like we're repeating that same structure twice, but that is actually what the floor plans look like. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this instead. Um, 
sorry guys, that is a change to what I intended on doing, but thinking about the way that the set is structured uh, for the movie and if we ever needed to, if we were going to film the scene with the you know time travel and Marty actually goes back in time, we want to make sure that we can destroy this ledge correctly and still have it be something that Doc could be hanging off of. So this just becomes a little bit taller and then we'll start the bricks. And that's probably better anyways that it's a little taller because then our roof will fit better when we get around to designing the roof which maybe this whole top part will be the next episode actually we're getting close to the end of this episode so i think we will do that so let me just finish up this and we will spend the next episode working on the actual uh, peak of the front of the clock tower i will finish off the rest of this building off camera so again you guys don't have to watch that and uh, we will start worrying about the actual clock portion next episode and then we might be done with the core tower and we can start working on the rest of the building yes i do like that that looks see and that's that's the level of detail that i'm talking about because from down here we could have just done this as a, as, a, as a two block tall no none of the stairs nothing else on it and it would have looked okay but it would have been missing something this is the level of detail uh because you would have actually they, they do they have like an upside down kind of crown molding here and then they have a flat part, and then they have another upside down crown molding up here that actually leads up to the roof part. And then this is where the the uh, the the clock tower is. This is all flat. This is the roof uh, of the building. So like the roof would be what like there or whatever. Uh, so that's the flat structure. So that's the top part of that. We just need to build that. But yeah, there we go. I'm liking this. It's looking pretty snazzy. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, with that, uh, that's the end of this episode. I will see you guys next time. Like I said, I will build the rest of the walls off camera, and then um, we'll we'll start in on that top part of the clock tower next time. So, all right. Catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.